Disclaimer. The subject matter has been produced using AI technology and can in no way be employed as fact. The AI works on articles and blogs, so it may only be deemed as what others believe, not necessarily the editor of this video. This video is in no way intended as fact or intended to cause undue stress, only for entertainment value. The disclaimer is produced by Tony of Tony's Music. Thank you. Curios are objects that are unusual or of a special nature. They can be anything from an old coin to a strange stone, a piece of cloth to a picture frame. They are often found in collections and are usually kept for their historical value. But they are also collected for their aesthetic appeal. The word comes from the Latin word curio, which means wonder. It was first used by the Romans to refer to items brought back from foreign countries. The word has been used in English since the 16th century and it is still widely used today. There are many types of curios and they can be divided into two main groups. Those that have been made by man and those that have been made by nature. Man-made curios are usually items that have been produced by human beings, such as pottery or paintings. Natural curios are things that have been made by nature, such as fossils, rocks, and plants. Man-made curios were popular in the Victorian era when people started collecting them as a hobby. In the Victorian period, people were very interested in things that had been created by human beings. As they felt that these things had a special history and a unique character. Some of the most popular man-made curios included porcelain, glassware, ceramics, silver and gold, and paintings. Natural curios were popular in the 19th century. When people became interested in collecting items that had been made by nature. These curios were usually things that were found in nature. Such as shells, fossils, stones, rocks, flowers, and plants. Today, people collect curios for both aesthetic and historical reasons. People collect them because they find them interesting or beautiful, or they want to preserve them for future generations. Many collectors also like to keep their collection together so that it is displayed in a certain way. And they will often display it in a special room or cabinet.